this video, we are going to walk through how to set up a blog on Squarespace. We're going to cover the basics to get you set up on your site. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to definitely want to be logged in. But from there, you'll want to click on pages. And then in here, we're going to set up the blog. So the first thing is we're going to go to not linked and click the plus sign. You could do it in the main navigation, but if your site is live, it'll go live immediately. So we'll go to not link, click the plus sign. You'll see a few options here. And what we'll click on is blog. From there, they're going to give you different design options that you have. In the end, you could adjust this. So just choose one to start and we'll make adjustments later. I'm going to start with blog two. Once that loads, you'll see that the text is blue right here. So I'm going to just change it to blog and actually I'm going to call it articles just for the sake of our conversation and go from there. Now, once that's done, it just takes me into the blog here. You'll see these sample posts. What I'll do here is I'll click this little gear wheel, which is the same exact gear wheel that is right here. And it'll bring up this menu. I want to bring this up to show a few things. First of all, if you have a live site and it's been running or you're actively working on your SEO, the first thing you're going to want to do is just go to SEO and hide this until you launch. And actually one note, I don't know why it does this. The SEO title shows up here as blog too. You definitely don't want that. So just get rid of it for now. It'll inherit the title that you have set up here. So it's a little advanced, but basically just SEO title, remove it if it says blog two or blog one. And then for now, what I'm gonna do is I am going to hide everything from search just so as we're building, it's not showing up in search results. Okay. And the other thing here is there are a few options here worth noting, which is one of them post per page is located here. Right now it's maxed out at 20. And so that's where you can make that adjustment. It has feeds here for podcasts, Apple news, replace feeds, that type of stuff, whole different video there. And then advanced helps you manage categories, tags, the page head code injection, and then the blog post item code injection. If that's over your head, don't worry about it right now. Just showing you where it exists if you want to make those changes. Now, let's go back into articles. And now that that is set up, what we can start working on is the structure of a blog post. I want to walk you through the main components that I consider anytime I'm publishing a blog post for SEO purposes, for just publishing it in general. Now, the first thing you want to note here is just a quick highlight. This is a thumbnail image. This is an excerpt and this is the blog post title. So with all that said, let's create a blog post. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the plus sign. And from there, it's going to take you into this editor here. It says add a title. So add the title here. And then this is where I add the actual content. With any blog post, you could add anything. So if you want to add images, video, audio, custom code, anything you want, you could add it into the blog post and then you build from there. You're seeing my profile show up here at the bottom because that's just turned on as a setting. And this is my profile with Squarespace. So in my Squarespace account, so it shows up at the bottom there, but inside the page here between for the content, for the actual content, you could adjust it here. And let me take one step back. This process I would consider is five, maybe six steps, depending on what you're doing or how many pieces you're managing. So step one is the title. Step two is the content. Add in the content, the video, the text, the different headings, all of that. That's step two. Step three goes into the back end. Now let's do that now. So step three is if I'm in the editor like this and I hover over this name here where it says add a title here, if I click on that, it brings me into this blog post setting. Awesome, wonderful. For now, I'm just gonna hit save. I'm not gonna publish, I'm just gonna hit save. I'm gonna show you how to do that from here as well. So if you hover over the blog post and over these three dots, click on that, click settings, take you to the same spot. Okay, now we've done step one and step two. Step one is the title, step two is the content. Step three, we're gonna go to options and we're gonna upload a thumbnail image. You could do search for image here. It'll take you to the library on the site. It'll take you to free images on Unsplash or premium images. So if you click here, I love this photo. This is great. Perfect. Now you've just added that to your blog post. So that is step three. Step four, and this is so important because 
oftentimes it does not do this. It throws in some random numbers or something here. You want to adjust the post URL. So remember earlier, we set up this to not be a blog. We called it articles. Well, this is really important because once you set it for all your items within the blog post or the blog section, all the blog articles that you write, blog posts, articles, white papers, whatever you publish, they're all going to start with this part of the URL. So you definitely want to make sure it's set up right. It's just a blog one forward slash. Anyway, this is set up right. It says articles. Now, this article specifically is titled article title. Okay. Now, the blog post URL is set up. So that's step four. And then step five, we're actually going to go back to content and we're going to hover over tags. We're going to adjust tags and categories. Tags and categories, quick explanation. Categories are bigger than tags. You can consider it that way. So you may have five categories on your blog or within your articles, but you may have a hundred tags. So if you were shopping, it would be, for example, categories. If you're shopping, like for me, if I was doing men's shopping, the categories would be shirts, shoes, shorts, things like that. Tags would be like light material, heavier material for summer, for winter, like smaller little details, shirts for summer, things like that. I don't know. I don't run an e-commerce store. Anyway, categories, add categories here. So let's do, I'm just going to do category one. So I'm going to hit enter. This UI to me, this user experience is horrible. Because as you're adding in more, it's a little bit, it's just hard to see. If you click on this and it checks it off to delete it, you hit delete. I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of this UI experience. And once you have categories built in, it's just not the prettiest. So for now, we have two categories tagged to it. So I'm going to go back and then I'm going to go to tags. And I'm going to do something very similar. I'm going to do tags one and tags two. Cool. So that's set up. So that is step five. Now, step six, which is kind of the next level of this, step six, actually, it could even be seven steps. Let's go. We're just going to keep going here. Step six is going to be the social image. So you could choose one of the images. Say you have seven images for your blog post. Well, you could take one of those images and add it here to the site. So if I go search for image, I already use this image. So it's right there. I could click on it, click add. Boom. Now that is the defined image for social. Okay. So in most cases, you want to whatever you upload for your thumbnail image, you could use again for your social image. This is what shows up if you post it on Facebook, if you post it on Instagram, like in Instagram DMs, if you send it in iMessage, any of those things. So that is step six, add the social image. Step seven is SEO. The simple version of this, I have a ton of content on our agency website about this, but you would want to add an SEO description here. Oh, and I forgot such an important step. Wow. Okay. We're going to go back. We're going to go back. Okay. But you want to add an SEO description here. Again, this is just like the brief about the article, blog, news update, whatever it is. Okay. So that goes there. For the SEO title, I usually leave it because the title shows up how I want. There's other customizations I do here, but that's more on the SEO side. But for now, that is one thing to add in for sure, the description. Okay, let's go back to options. This is a step I forgot. So we added in the thumbnail for step three. Step four, we added the post URL. Step five, we did the tags and categories. But one thing you want to add is the excerpt. Remember, I showed you earlier what the excerpt looks like. So let me say this is. So let's click save. Okay, so that is saved. Everything's good to go. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit edit. And I'm going to publish it. So you see it. And then now we're going to talk a little bit about design. Like, so you see where everything is showing up. Quick interruption in this video. If you're getting value from this video, please check the link down below. There are resources that I have for you that are free that you can use to improve your Squarespace website. There are things around SEO, things around design. I have separate eBooks for that. And I have separate resources for a ton of things. So if you're trying to custom code your site or work on your SEO or just building your site for the first time and just wanna make sure you have a look that is user-friendly and a feel that is nice, all of that, check the link below for the resources. There are a ton of resources that you can find value from. Just go to the link and you can start checking out all of those resources.
Okay, so if we go back to the articles, let me just drag this up here. So now it's in the menu. So I'm gonna click articles. Okay, so boom, you see the post on the page. First and foremost, this is the thumbnail image that we uploaded. So that's what's showing up here. This is the excerpt that we added. This is the title. You see the categories here, the date is showing up, and then the read more link links directly to it. Now, if we wanna edit this, we just go into edit. There's a ton of options. You could add sections to the page, do all that. And I have other video content on this for designing this page, but if you click this edit section here, you could decide what shows up where, how it shows up. Let's say you wanna go for three columns, do that again. There we go. So that is that. And then you could also do, I wanna do this. So it shows the excerpt. Now, if you don't want an excerpt and you don't wanna do an excerpt, you don't have to show an excerpt. It's very simple, right? You could just do hide and not use it at all. The read more link is showing there. So you could say, no, actually I wanna hide it. Title spacing, all of that. Now here metadata. Primary metadata is categories. So it's going to show the categories here, but then the secondary metadata is the date. Maybe I don't want to show the date. Maybe I want to just show nothing. So I could click none, simplifies the look a little bit, which is nice and all of that. And back at the top here is where you could really work on the design. So you could do side by side, alternating side by side. So it looks something like this really beautiful layout. You could adjust the colors and other things here. But for now, I'm just going to leave that and I'm going to hit save. So that gives you a bit of a background of how this looks and how it works. Now I'm going to click on one of these and go into here and adjust the look and feel here. There's a lot happening. So I'm going to click edit. And one thing I'm going to do to just make this like more real. Okay, so I just added a bit of placeholder text. This is just warm ipsum to the whole page. So it extends a little bit. So what you could see is at the top of the blog post, it's showing categories, date, and author, plus the name. And then here's the actual content. And at the bottom, it's showing tags, and then author bio. So we could adjust that as we like. So this edit section here, if you click on this, it changes it for the blog post. Now the big note here on what it does is that it's actually doing this for all blog posts. So it's not just one blog post. It's a little bit unfortunate. It is very useful because if you make one adjustment and you want to do it to all the blog posts, it's just one click. But the challenge is sometimes you might want one blog post set up differently than others. So with that said, you'll see content width setup is narrow right now. You could do custom and then adjust the size. Again, this changes it for all blog posts. So maybe I might do something like 50 there, text alignment. And just one note on content width, the reason I did like 50 is depending on the size of the font, you probably want 10 to 15 words per line. That is the ideal number of words per line for reading purposes. So it actually might be better at something like 45. Let's just, for example sake, take a look at 45 and take a look at 85. Which one's easier to read? 85 is like, if you had to follow these lines, it's a lot of work on your eyes and your brain to focus on that. 45, it's a lot simpler to go through each line and focus and read. Okay, anyway, so that's that. Text alignment is to the left. So if you change this, it centers all of this. Meta position above title or below title. So it could show up there. Let's see how that looks. Show categories, show date. So this is where you could start playing with it. So maybe I don't want to show the date and then I don't want to show the author name at the top. I just want to show the categories and maybe I want categories to go below and let me actually put it back to left. So there we go. There's a look and feel. Show author profile. That's down here. So if I turn this off, that goes away and that covers all of those pieces. It looks like there's no adjustment for tags. So if you add tags, apparently you can't get rid of them, but that is that. You could change this little dash that you see here or dash or just the space. So here I'm going to do bullet. Cool. All right. And let's do colors now. So again, if you change this, it changes it for all blog posts. And so in this case, all blog posts would have this kind of background, but I'm just going to leave it as white, leave it like that, and then click save. Now, the final thing with setting up a blog, the collection page for all the articles, you set up the individual posts. Now we're going to just do a little bit of the housekeeping in the back end. So if you go to settings and then you go to blogging, here's a few things to consider. Now, this post URL format works great. You don't need to adjust it unless you have a specific reason to or you've been advised to adjust it. But in this case, the fact that it just shows the title is ideal. You don't need to put the date for SEO purposes. Google doesn't really do that anymore. So you don't need to worry about that. 
comment settings. If you do turn on comments, you could adjust that here, enable them globally. They give you a bunch of settings that you could work with. So if I do that, and then what I would do 100% is use AMP, accelerated mobile pages. It makes your Google experience better. Google likes that. So that is that now. So let me turn on the comments so you see that. So if I go to pages and I go back to articles and then I click on this article and I go to settings, you'll see here comments is turned off. So I'll turn that on. Disable comments. Oh, that doesn't matter. That's if you want to disable them like six months or a year or whatever, a few years from after the post has been published. But we'll just leave that. Comments are on. So I'll click save. Okay. So after that, I will click here and go into this. And now you'll see that comments show up here. So a final few housekeeping tips here. Remember that if you go to settings, this is where you could adjust. If you go to advanced, here's where you could adjust manage categories and tags. So say, for example, you spelt category wrong and you made this tag and it's saved. Well, you don't have to create a new one. What you could do is come here, click on it and then hit edit. So this could be category one and it'll update it across the whole site. Let's say you want to delete a category. Well, you just click on it and then you hit delete. And then are you sure? Yes, you remove it. It removes it from the whole site. Okay, so that's where you can manage categories and tags. And finally, finally, when you are ready to go live, you can hit all pages in this collection. You can now like remove that, turn that off. So it could be read by Google and then you could add an SEO description here to optimize that. So just like that, you have a blog set up on your website. Congrats. Hey, congrats, you made it to the end of this Squarespace training. If you got value from this video, you will definitely get value from some of the resources that we've created. Please go to spacebaragency.com forward slash resources. The link will be down below in the description. And there we have a ton of eBooks, PDFs, and resources for you, for your website, for SEO, to help you grow your business. And just a quick disclaimer, most of the resources, they're free. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you hit the like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some very important information, but it also tells me that you got value from this video. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.